if you I, I, I don't get married to my work, I won't be here, I think. Yeah. We must really put our heart and soul in it. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Sulaiman. Uh, this is my shop, Sulaiman. We are located at uh, 166 Jalan Besar, Bersih Food Centre. 0118, uh, tuck in at the side all the way to the end, we are facing Aboy. My shop basically, uh, we sell smoked meats, burgers. Smoked meats, we do brisket, we do rib eye, we do jerk chicken, Caribbean jerk chicken. Uh, basically, we do all the sauces ourselves. We marinate our own boneless chicken leg. For the jerk marinade, we do our own. We spring onions. Uh, we don't use habanero because it's too expensive. We do uh, bird eye chili. Yeah, a bit cheaper because we are selling at Hawker. So, and burgers, we do. We try to give the best by using brioche bun, artisanal cheese, wagyu burger. But not the expensive A5 or what lah. Yeah. Yeah, a bit uh, lower grade bulky lah. It's considered very good uh, for this kind of price. Uh. The inspiration be, uh, behind this store is because I want to bring a top-notch restaurant quality food to the mass lah, to the masses lah. Because not all people can afford outside food, uh, restaurant food. So, uh, so I'm trying to cut down the price, bring down the cost and try to serve all uh, for the mass. This hawker has a special place in my heart. Basically, when I first started my first job in FMB, I was staying just behind here, Block 25. So I've been, so I play around here. I, I hang out around here. So I like this place because it's less outskirts of town. So many people will come down here to meet up before they go to other places like Orchard, City Hall, uh, Peninsula, or whatever it is. So I think this place. It's quite, uh, have a good location uh, yeah. and the uh, price is, is good uh. <laughs> affordable to me personally I think we need this kind of hawker friendly uh, affordable food for all not say all Muslim for everyone to uh, have a taste uh, because uh, I know that like to me I don't really afford to bring my whole family to a big big restaurant to have uh, a good meal uh, so this is an alternative yeah, so I think it's a good place uh, it's so that everyone in everyone here can afford to have a good meal a good and affordable meal okay what makes a good burger uh, after years of doing burgers uh, under a top-notch restaurants in Singapore. To me, when I was a head chef in that restaurant, what makes a good burger is uh, something is fresh. Ingredients must be, must be fresh. Uh, the buns must be uh, brioche or uh, not a normal normal uh, supermarket bun. Lah. So it won't make that good burger. And most important thing is the freshness of the patty. So basically the patty is unseasoned. So basically we get the wagyu patty, we just season it with salt and that's it. So everything taste comes from the beef itself. We make our own sauces, but not all sauces I make on my own. Because this is just a hawker. Uh, I make my own barbecue sauce. Yeah, and we make some of our mayonnaise to make a different blend of mayonnaise and to go along with. Okay. Uh, it's much more easier for me to open up a stall after gaining all the experience I got outside. Uh. So basically, uh, this experience you can't learn in school. Uh. Even when you go to culinary school, you can't get the, uh, the, the raw experience to open up a real restaurant, uh, a real hawker or something. Uh. So I gain a lot of uh, a lot of chef teach me. Uh, not even burgers, uh, a lot of local local food, uh, uh, Italian, French, some Spanish that uh, I've learned along the way. Uh. Mm. So I put them apart and here we are, Salaiman. <laughs> the difference well, the, the difference between a head chef and opening my own store, the hard work. Uh. When I was a head chef, it's really hard work. I work from for 11 all the way to night five days a week sometimes six days a week 
But for this hawker stall, I work six days a week. But yesterday, my off day, also I came down to smoke the meat. So basically, having your own hawker is hard work. It's pure hard work. The struggles I had when the struggles I had when being a head chef and the struggles I had now is two different things. Uh. Previously, the struggle was staffing. Uh. Uh, I work basically we work long hours for long hours because of short of staff. Not many people wants to be a chef. Uh, it's tiring. It's long hours. It's not glamour. It's not a glamour thing. Yeah. So, but nowadays because of the social media a lot of people uh, youngsters are trying to enter this uh, chef chef circle uh, basically mm. uh, for now i think my struggles are also staffing yeah uh, it's difficult to get a helper nowadays but i still have my support from my friends who help me every day daily after his work in the morning he came down here do for me the night shift with me then all the way to the end and tomorrow so shout out to him lah good <laughs> my biggest regrets or sacrifice lah I, get, I, I put it yeah. uh, I get married to my wife so today I get married the next day I went to work because there's no <laughs> no staff at work yeah that was back in 2012 so I went to ROM for the first day wedding and second day I go to work really. If you, I, I, I don't get married to my work, I won't be here, I think. Yeah. We must really put our heart and soul in it. Yeah. Uh, to be a good business owner, I think we need to have a good rapport with our, good rapport with our customer. Yeah. So, and the food needs to be consistent. Uh, as consistent as much as possible, uh, basically. Uh, so, I try to write down all our recipes and we follow all the steps basically so when I have stuff and I can get them to do for me so everything will taste the same daily, monthly, yearly and until until wherever hmm. where I look my shop in five years I intend to stay in this hawker business <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't intend to go to the restaurant outside no i intend to do hawker and if we if god permit and we find another outlet in another part of singapore in northern or eastern yeah, eastern then we try to get another hawker then we do this salai mai again but we try to make it affordable for all that's our main goal basically affordable